Yeah. The the ESPN report that came out yesterday, I believe, uh, there were players who were talking about when they checked into the hotel after their flight that they were actually ripping down the NBA banners off of like the civic center and the convention centers across the street. Okay. Right. Like the it was getting really intense with the protests and obviously with the way the government felt over there about the tweets. So it was like you know we're over here and we're in harm's way. Mm -hmm. Like, why, why would you even do that? Why yeah. not, you know, save that comment or that tweet till after we get back home? Right. Which I think that's what Adam Silver did by holding a press conference today. He wanted to wait till all the guys were back before he expressed his views on it. Yeah. I think Adam yeah. Silver is always does a good job of, like, saving the NBA or, like, just speaking out for them. Because this wasn't his mess. He didn't cause it. Right. So. Yeah. But, yeah, he definitely he, he stepped in from the, from the jump. He said, you know, he's not going to be fired. But uh, he definitely, you know, he waited for the right time. The guys are back now. Unfortunately, we had all of the backlash going, you know, with LeBron and, and everything. I mean, this is burning jerseys. That's I guess that's the new trend now yeah. with, uh, with 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 the fans. But um, I'm, I'm I'm glad that everybody's back home. But now the NBA has to figure out this situation because you are like talking about millions upon millions of dollars that are potentially going to be lost now yeah. from uh, from the NBA. A lot of relationships that are, are going to be broken and mm -hmm. probably yep. won't be mended anytime soon. Yeah. So. And let me let me ask you, Rashida. So LeBron got obviously a lot of negative feedback for even speaking out on basically not agreeing with, you know, supporting Daryl from saying those comments. Do you think that players are kind of scared to have a political stance now that you, when you see Kaepernick has lost his career from feeling a strong way about a political stance? How do you feel about like that? You know what, Em, I think players are a little bit intimidated yeah. about coming out and stating their political stance. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, I think what happened to Kaepernick was completely unfair. Mm -hmm. I think um, how LeBron made a, a, or even backing a statement, I think um, with all of the attention mm -hmm. that has come from that, um, this is something that's, I don't want to say minor, yeah. but I, I feel like we have bigger problems <laughs> happening right now in the U.S. Right. And I think yeah. LeBron made a statement about that. I think he said, he did. let's worry about the U.S., yeah. America, yeah. the States. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we, we got enough going on here than to worry about what's happening in Hong Kong. Right. And I think moving forward, I think people are going to be a little bit less prevalent to kind of take their stance. Yeah. Um, and I think they're going to think twice yeah. um, about what can, you know, potentially happen moving forward. Yeah. And that was actually my issue with the tweets. You know, I'm I'm all for you know speaking out against social injustice anywhere. But Daryl Morey is is not someone like say Greg Popovich or Steve Kerr who have been vocal about social injustice uh, mm -hmm. issues. So you know he kind of this kind of was just out of like left field. And then you have the, the situation where a lot of people around the world feel like America is very arrogant. Yeah, and, and they dip their nose in up. They're very yeah, nosy. Absolutely. You should mind your business. Like, you're not even speaking out on stuff that goes on in Here. your own country. Well, well, you, well, you have situations like, uh, you know, the, them when I can't breathe t-shirts mm -hmm. or the Miami, you know, taking the, the with the hoodie hoodies and, and all of that. Mm -hmm. I didn't hear you speak on, matter. speak on those issues. Yeah. yeah. And these were big issues where the NBA was really taking a stand, you know, on things. And I didn't hear you say anything. So now you want to jump out the window. This, this has nothing to do with you. We talking about a, 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 a country that's across the world. And at the same time, what we do here has no bearing on what they do there and, and vice versa. Yeah. So just because we have freedom of speech here in the United States, mm -hmm. we don't have freedom of speech over there to criticize in, over in there. China. And, I, and I'm, I'm very sure there's a lot of things that Americans do where, you know, the Chinese, oh, we don't, you know, we don't rock with that. Yeah. Yeah. But mind your business, mm -hmm. you know, like because because something like this. You know, could lead to something even bigger. Yeah. You know what I mean? In in, in a really bad kind of a kind of a way. Right. Yeah. And I'm so. glad you brought up Popovich because that goes back to the point about Team USA. The, the players were all warned, mm -hmm. like just stay out of this, don't talk about it. And they were warned well in advance. They weren't just like told when they landed. And these NBA players that were getting ready to go over were warned as well, which I'm sure the front office guys were. Mm -hmm. Daryl Morey knew better. Yeah. Like this was a situation where he, why right? Don't say anything. Yeah. You know, for you to jump on social media the night before you guys are heading out. It's crazy. Yeah. Like, and then not knowing all the details. of His his, his <laughs> excuse after taking down a tweet was that he didn't understand everything that was involved with this. Well, that was even more reason why you, you should have just kept your comments to yourself. Mm -hmm. And yeah. that's so interesting you say that because LeBron's backlash that I've been seeing all day has been basically that one comment when he said that Daryl Morey did not 
you know, he was misinformed. He didn't have right. enough knowledge on it. And people were attacking him for saying that. But he said that. But he said that. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, I just feel like the players, they're on the I front think, line. And yeah, they take yeah. the brunt of everything. It's very easy for general managers or the commissioner or people to say these comments. But these players are the ones that are physically going at it. Their last names are on these jerseys that are getting burned. Absolutely. Their families are in harm's way. So I just think... It's always been an issue to me that, you know, the, the players are on the front lines and everyone else can sit back and make comments that can potentially harm the players. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I think LeBron <laughs> even had a sweater that said no clout, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of players are doing things for clout. Mm -hmm. To what yeah. extent do we stop and say, oh, my God, this is a sensitive topic yeah. right, that I shouldn't be commenting on until yeah. I know further facts. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, the you know, as you, as you mentioned about not knowing, I think people got mad at LeBron because he started off the comment by saying sometimes freedom of speech can be negative because it can affect financials, yeah. so, you know. And so people just wanted to take that part they of the quote that part, and yeah. just yeah. latch onto it and say, oh, so because this is big business, mm -hmm. we shouldn't talk about it. Okay. Yeah. But in actuality, Daryl Morey didn't know enough about the situation. Yeah. And there are people, yeah. even though we are a democratic country and we feel that's the way it should be, yeah. There are people who don't agree with the protesters from yeah. Hong Kong. There are yeah. people who feel that they're being too violent or they're being too extreme in their protest. Mm -hmm. So there are people on both sides of the fence that were mad at Daryl Morey for putting that tweet out. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't just people who were against China. And yeah. if, you're, if you're really against what's going on in China, then, then have you had a meeting with Adam Silver and said, well, I don't want to do business with China anymore oh, absolutely because not. stuff is going on? I doubt it because I'm pretty sure you're still cashing whatever Listen, checks that come in. The yeah. Rockets yeah. are the marquee China. team over there. Yeah. They, they do. Yeah. Um, in Asian night, they have the jerseys in Chinese lettering. Yep. So why you have, why haven't right. you stepped down yet? Right. I said, you know what? If you they take this trip are, annually gonna, over there. Stop yeah. with so, China, I'm just going to step down right. and away from the NBA. Well, I think I think it's safe to say that this does not by any means take away from what LeBron has, what he's done and no. his impact on the community. So. Because I seen where Muhammad Ali's ex-wife made like crazy comments <laughs> saying, you yeah. know, he saying that he would never have done this and you should have stuck up for Hong Kong. But then LeBron's to the point of you brought up, like yeah. he was like, I don't know enough about what's going on over there. I'm gonna keep taking care anybody, of the yeah. kids in the hood of and Cleveland. I, and like, think, and that's what yeah. he said. And I don't blame I'm him just, for I'm that just though. Just send those sneakers out to the kids yeah. at the Yeah, yeah. and yeah. so <laughs> let's not forget he <laughs> built he built a school. He gives yeah. back to, he does so much for our culture. Oh he God. speaks out on everything more than other players have. So I just think that they're trying to kind of assassinate his character by this one comment. And I think that's why a lot of players are scared to speak out. Yep. Mm -hmm. Because it's damned if you do, damned if you don't. Yep. Right? If I don't agree with you, I'm going to slander your name. If I agree with you, you're the greatest thing since sliced bread. And unless you're a guy who has that platform like LeBron, I mean, it's tough. We, like you said, we see what happened to Kaepernick. Yeah. He's in yeah. a situation now where he can't get his career back. Mm -hmm. There's no comeback. Right. There's no comeback. Yeah. You know, so... If you're a player and you and you know this is a year-to-year -year thing for me and there's no guarantee that I'm going to play for 10 years in this league, yeah. do I want to run the risk of rubbing people the wrong way who can control my career and my future? Yeah. Yep. You know, it's unfortunate. I think Ali's wife, you know, that, that's one of those comments I don't think you make. I think you got to let the guys be. Yeah. yeah. None of us know what it's like to be in a foreign country where you're not welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Those players were not welcomed after the tweets. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm sure all of them just wanted to get out of there and yeah. that was it. You know, I don't, I'll don't. i figure it out later on. I just want to get out of here. I want to get back to my family. Mm -hmm. and, and think about it. We're only uh, about a year removed from the whole Leangelo uh, ball situation over in, uh, yeah. in China as I well. I thought about that. So, you know, it's like, yo, what's up? Like, y'all straight trying to disrespect us now with this? Now you got this dude yeah. tweeting. You know, like, come on. So it, it, it's just a lot going on. I hope they can mend these fences because we don't need it, you know, going any uh, further. This is Deontay the Bronze Bummer Wilder, heavyweight champion of the world, and you're watching Real Fans Real Talk. Live from the camp. Hey. Uh huh. This is Real yeah. Fans Real Talk. Talk. Real Fans Real Talk. We as real as you thought.